Hello. Hi. Hello. So. All right, who's first? All right. All right. All right. Yeah, that's, that's you right. got a list. What has Supernatural not explored? Themes, myths, monsters that right. you'd like to see? That, um, I, would, that I personally would like to see? That you personally yeah. would like to see happen uh, in season Well, I mean, 11. we've talked about the Kraken so much. Why haven't we seen it? You know what I mean? Like, why hasn't it come out? Um, no, I think Supernatural... The nice thing about Supernatural in terms of like themes and things like that is like the themes tend to be very simple, I would say, but also very universal, which I think what's made, you know, so it becomes about family, it becomes about saving your brother, it becomes about, you know, even something as simple as saving the world, like it sounds very simple in one or two lines, but it can become very, it can also be very deep and take you down a lot of different paths, so that's always been a lot of fun for us, just, it's not so much that the themes change, but the exp explorations of the themes change. What excites you the most about the premiere episode of the new season? I think what excites me the most is just, you know, we're, one, we're doing something we haven't done in a long time, is we're picking basically right off the end of season um, season 10. The other thing is we're showing, you know, we're taking some time in the first two episodes to really show the after effects of what happened. And it's not just a monster wrote Sam and Dean. A lot of times Sam and Dean roll through a town, kill a monster, roll on. But this thing with the darkness was so big that even, you know, right where that cloud rolls over people, like, it creates, without giving too much away, it creates a problem that's going to take them multiple episodes to solve. And so that's really interesting for us because it's just something we don't really do. And then later in the season, there's also something where they're spending time, basically two episodes kind of in one place. And it creates a level of serialization, even though they're one-shot episodes, a level of serialization we don't do a lot of. But it's actually been very cool to kind of build in that way. So there's another episode besides the Impala episode? There is an episode, there's an episode later on where basically Sam and Dean will spend two episodes in the same location. Okay. Building off the same case, essentially. Okay. Um, and that's after, that's, you know, toward the end of our first, uh, first half of the season. Okay. Yeah. Now, how far ahead do you plan this? I mean, obviously, you know, season one, you're not thinking about season ten. Sure. You know, so, it's season eleven, are you sure? already start thinking about season twelve? I think you're thinking of ways where you're like, okay, here's the story we want to tell. If you have to tell it in one season, here's how we could tell it. If we have the opportunity to tell it in more than one season, here's the way we could do it. It's about, but I don't think it's a case where you go in and you're like, we definitely need 27 episodes to finish this out. Because the truth of the matter is, you just don't know. The other truth of the matter is, story tends to be a very flexible thing anyway. Sure. And so, you know, you can front load things, you can back load things, you can put things off. But I will say, you know, we've had the great luxury in the past few years, once fall, winter rolls around, to kind of have some idea, at least if we're coming back and doing, start making plans at that point. Okay, so we know where we're going. We have the end of the season. Do we want to take a little bit of that and push it forward and make that a driving force for the next season? Do we want to wrap it all up and start something new? Um, and that's been really fun. What's the What's the big, uh, what's your favorite theme of the new series? Yeah. Favorite theme? Yeah. Um, you know, one, one thing we kind of bat around the writer's room is basically you can't escape your past. And... Um, we're, I think we're bringing some things in from the boys' past. Some very distant, some much more recent, that we haven't dealt with in a long time. But I think we'll have some really interesting repercussions uh, for both guys. Does this mean flashbacks or anything? Um, yes, there, there will be flashbacks. There will be uh, on, in a lot of different ways and a lot of different levels, yes. You, you, mentioned, the, sorry, you mentioned the past of the boys. Uh -huh. Jeffrey D. Morgan has uh -huh. been very vocal lately yes. about coming back. Yes. Where are we? Is there any chance? Are you guys oh, maybe there's, thinking? There's, there's, always a, there's always a chance. You know, with Jeffrey D. Morgan, and he carries such weight for the show. To me, it's not when, he, it's not if he comes back, it's when, what's the right time, when it's going to be for maximal impact. What you don't want to do is bring a character like that back, you know, and waste the opportunity. So for us, it's just about finding that opportunity. Did you play such an important role uh -huh. on the show? Is there any song this season that you were just like, spend the money on it, I just need the song? You know, show. we haven't really got to that point. Um, I, I wrote one script, I have one song in that I know we'll, we'll never get, but uh -huh. sometimes you just put it in there just for fun. Just for fun. Yep. Anything with Charlie? Anything with Charlie? Uh, on Charlie and her possible return, I will plead the fifth. Okay. Um, okay. But, I, but I will say that certainly that character is never far from our minds. Perfect. Thank you.